Well, George, uh, disappointment last week, and I guess disappointment and frustration this week. Yeah, I'm frustrated. I, I thought the boys, um, you know, what was a real physical contest, did really well for most of the game. There was a couple of bits in the first half we spoke about at half time that we weren't happy with. Thought we let them off a couple of times, um, but look, it was a it was a good battle for most of the game. I thought the um, I thought the scrum decision at the end here, when we were on top and we scrummed straight through the middle of them, was a disgrace, if I'm honest. And um, Chris Harris getting taken off for a HIA when there's a no arm shoulder in the back of his head. I don't know where the TMO is. Um, and then obviously their ball boy taking the ball off Billion for a quick throw. I, I, you know, I think that's a poor finish to the game, which was a good contest, and we we're in front till that point. So. There's loads of things we, we would, like I say, in the first half, there's a couple of bits where I felt we let them back into the game when we didn't need to. But I thought the boys worked really hard. They, they executed most of the plan. Um, our kicking probably wasn't as clinical as you'd have liked um, for most part of the game, but it's a good team. And we you know, we were in the fight for the, for the most part. And I'll certainly be patting the, the bench who came on and scrummed like that at the end, regardless of uh, what the officials say. I think they'll look back on that and, uh, and wince, hopefully like the rest of us but you know it is what it is we've got to just move forward and go to Newcastle next week you've played some good stuff in the first half two very well constructed tries as well yeah and I think that's you know that was good it was we had a good mall try and then we had a good uh, attacking plate rugby try which is great because we can score tries from all sorts of um, spots but I think obviously like I say it's probably a, a little bit of the breakdown let us down let them back in the game and kick a few easy points and we left a little bit out there so um, frustrated is the word I think um, you know I think we probably I, I weren't quite as good as we were last week, but the boys threw it all out there. You know, they're gutted, but again, we just move forward and, uh, and get ready for Newcastle. And, and Sharks decided to make it very difficult to play, aren't they? Yeah, they're niggly. They throw themselves into the breakdown and um, push the boundaries on that, which, which they're good at. And um, obviously, they were a top four team who just missed out because of COVID at the back end of last year. So we knew it would be a real hard physical battle. And I say we were in it there right till the end when, you know, it was effectively for, for me that penalty decision takes from we're in the lead and we've got a penalty kick to corner off the sticks to they get a penalty and go down there but that's that's the game you're so very near aren't you to getting getting a win in one of these games yeah we're really near yeah and I think you know we've played two of the two of the best teams this last two weeks and and um, put a good foot forward but as I say we'll have a look in that first half particularly I think probably gave them a few easy shots at goal that I'd like to um, correct in terms of your tenure here, you've been here six months now. How do you assess the challenge that's gone by and where you're going in the next six months? Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. I mean, obviously, you know, there's a lot going on in the league and, and we're not where we want to be in the league, granted. But, um, you know, I think the boys have they've taken some big step forwards. You know, the set piece and, and defence is, is really coming along, I think. Um, our attacking game's good. I still think we've got a bit to go in managing the game and making smart decisions. You know, when, as I say, letting teams back in when we've got all the pressure, I think that's probably something we've... Um, we've allowed this week and, and we probably allowed Exeter off a, a couple of times last week so loads of growth still to be had but um, certainly I'm very positive about where we're going. And I guess you're giving some of the youngsters a great deal of experience and they, they'll have to learn from those experiences too. Yeah we, yeah look we're playing lots of young fellas we we, uh, we know where we want to be in sort of 12 months time and, and a lot of those young guys are the, are the key to getting there I think so we're exposing a lot of young players as we go along which is great um, yeah, but uh, it'd be great to get a few wins and, and they get to feel that side of it as well. And do you see any further repercussions on what's happened at the end of the game there? Uh, I'm more concerned about the, the headshot Chris Harris got in the back of the head actually that wasn't um, radioed in because obviously he had to come off for a HIA and, and no one looked at that and that was, um, in my opinion, that was uh, should have been dealt with.